Many people have accused Apple of just not caring about AI, while other companies like Google, OpenAI, and Microsoft have continued to heavily invest in artificial intelligence, Apple has flat out ignored it. Starting today, the 7th of May, that all changes. The sleeping giant is finally awake. Apple has just announced the M4 iPad Pro, and it is all about AI. Just to prove they are serious about AI, Apple's iPad Pro skips the M3 chip and goes straight to the M4 chip. Why, you ask? M4 has a gigantic neural engine. Okay, so a neural engine is basically a specific part of the chip dedicated to accelerating AI workloads. According to Apple, the M4 has a neural engine capable of 38 trillion operations per second. As if the neural engine is not enough, the CPU in the M4 chip has several machine learning accelerators. As if that were not even enough, there's a GPU on standby, just in case the AI model meets to run even faster. This new hybrid capabilities in the M4 means Apple's approach to artificial intelligence is different. Before we continue, if you are loving this discussion, kindly subscribe. It goes a long way in supporting our content production efforts. Everyone else, Google, OpenAI, and Adobe, heavily rely on the cloud for artificial intelligence. Apple's approach is own device artificial intelligence. This approach is superior in two ways. One, it's faster. There is no ladders wait for the request to be sent to the cloud then back to your device. Number two, you can use artificial intelligence even when you're not connected to the internet. Number three, your data is safe. It is always on device, period. From the iPad demo today, here's a test of what the Apple M4 and artificial intelligence can do. Remember, all this AI witchcraft is done on device. Let's say you want to isolate a subject from the background, you know, 4K video. Well, no problem. You want to play it music? No problem. Apple's AI is ready to help. It can help you create drum beats to that drama. It can help you create the bass. It also automatically adds keyboard tunes to your track. To arrange all these created components, it uses what Apple calls Chromavub to mix the entire track for you. If you have a song and you want to break it apart into its individual components, in seconds, Apple AI would separate the voice, the bass, and the drum. Forget taking a photo of something like a receipt or document and not being able to process it. Apple AI fixes all this in just seconds. Remember, this is just the beginning. The new iPadOS has a core machine learning model and any app developer can tap into the power of Apple's AI engine. If you ask me, Apple just won the AI race with this on-device AI concept. Most of the AI businesses today are unsustainable. Who is going to pay monthly subscriptions to thousands of services when your computer can do the same thing for free in a fraction of a second? But that's just my opinion. In your opinion, which concept is going to win the AI race? One device or cloud AI? Leave a comment below and remember to subscribe.